USA Radio News with John Hunt. Vice President Mike Pence saw firsthand the extreme overcrowding at federal detention centers as he visited two in Texas. Pence said afterwards what he saw was evidence of a system that is overwhelmed. Uh, This is very tough stuff to see families that are swept up in this crisis on our southern border. But I must tell you that uh, I couldn't be more impressed with the compassionate work that our Customs and Border Protection are doing here at this facility. Vice President Pence said President Donald Trump sent him so the American people could see what's happening firsthand. In May, Department of Homeland Security's Office of the Inspector General wrote an internal report stating the conditions were so bad at a Texas border facility where about half the migrants in custody were sleeping outdoors and that the agents there feared possible rioting. Watch and read the stories you're hearing on Facebook.com slash USA Radio or on Twitter.com slash USA Radio Network. In the New Orleans area, tropical depression Barry dumped rain as it slowly swept inland through Gulf Coast states, sparing New Orleans from a direct hit, but stoking fears elsewhere of flooding, tornadoes, and power outages. Though the system was downgraded to a tropical depression and its winds were steadily weakening since it made landfall, Barry's rain bands created a flooding and tornado threat stretching from central Louisiana to eastern Mississippi and beyond. Several parishes or counties in both states were under flash flood warning. President Donald Trump asked people across the region to keep their guard up, saying on Twitter, a big risk of major flooding in large parts of Louisiana and all across the Gulf Coast. Please be very careful. Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer traded the lead, playing until an unprecedented fifth set tiebreaker was required to settle their Wimbledon final. In the end, it was Djokovic who was victorious, coming back to edge Federer 7-6, 1-6, 7-6, 4-6, 13-12. This is USA Radio News. It now could be even longer before Boeing can get its 737s back in the air. With that story, here's Robin Walensky. It is not good news for Boeing. It appears the company facing the possibility its 737 MAX jets could be grounded until 2020 because of the time it will take to fix a software issue. Planes grounded back in March after two deadly crashes, one in Ethiopia, the other in Indonesia. 346 people killed. The mystery of a 1983 disappearance of the 15-year-old daughter of a Vatican employee took yet another twist following evacuations at Vatican City's cemetery. The Vatican said it had discovered two sets of bones under a stone slab that will be formally opened next week. The new discovery came after the Vatican on Thursday pried open the tombs of two 19th century German princesses in the cemetery of the Pontifical College in hopes of finding the remains of Emanuela Orlandi. Her family had received a tip that she might be buried there, but the tombs turned out to be empty. Searches continued and Vatican spokesman Alessandro Gisati said further searches had been centered on the areas adjoining the tombs. He said investigators had located two sets of bones under a stone slab manhole. He said the area was immediately sealed off and would be opened only in the presence of forensics experts on July 20th. Her case has been one of the enduring mysteries of the Vatican, kept alive by the Italian media and a quest by her brothers to find the true answers. For USA Radio News, I'm John Hunt.